All right, well, we're back. Sorry, let me introduce it. So, guys, we're back. Welcome back to my no, channel. No, 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 no. We're what back. up, YouTube? All right, so today is just general uh, approach work and work on approach. I'm gonna refrain from the off a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Also, I'm here with my brother. So it runs in the family, neither of us know how to throw lobs.
Today's session, I kind of wanted to work on my approach, which didn't quite happen how I had planned. I think it's like several things, right? The court is free. Like it's cold, the court is sandy. Very unideal. I think probably show that one thing of like you approaching and literally sliding like a foot. Like it could have been really dangerous. So, so yeah, I mean, let me like hear your thoughts, I guess, on how everything went. Uh, the session was a little lackluster. What I really want to do in the future is just get away from the hoop and just go back to the basics and focus on jumping and specifically like jump technique, right, left, and left, right, jump technique. I think the rest will follow. And that starts with your approach. So I might just post a video. I don't know if you guys are into that. But I might later just post a video of me like going through some jump reps and just get a good, honest feel for my own body. Cause I feel like I'm not quite in tuned with my body as of late. Well, I think like little stuff can throw it off and can't get out. Yeah, house, yeah. So, like a little bit restricted. But yeah, no, I have watched other videos where you're, even if, if you're having a bad day, being able to step away and do the other things. You know, I feel like it is even hard for you to do that, right? You're used to like a certain level of mm. performance. So obviously you get frustrated when that's not there. It's, do you do you have a sense during a session that this is like gonna be a bad session? Or have you had like sessions that start off bad and like turn out great? Or do you, do they usually have like a vibe to them? Like, okay, I'm good, I'm jumping well, I'm gonna hit stuff or? I guess I kind of have a vibe that just starts with your mindset. I think I obviously lost it. I don't know if I hear it throughout the video, I might, you know, look frustrated or say some things. And I think that all didn't help the session, you know, didn't do anything to make it better. When I feel like if I had a better attitude, I definitely could have come out of it a little bit better. I think especially like when the margin so thin, like inches or centimeters away from hitting certain dunks, it is like, Obviously, a positive attitude is not going to give you 10 extra inches of vertical. But, like, yeah, in terms yeah. of, like, the belief of, like, this is, I can put this down. Everything's done with intention. Mm -hmm. Like, I have a dunk, a very basic dunk that I tried literally probably, like, 12 times. I, like, went up not even believing I'm going to hit it. Yeah, I right. know that happens. Yeah, and, it's crazy. And it's just, like, and I'm sure you can show, like, literally 12 examples of me mm -hmm. missing the thing. And, like, I tried to, like, make myself believe I was going to hit it. But by the end, you know, you're going up and you're like, I, mean, I know I can jump high enough. The I'm going to put it back. And I just think it's going to do the same thing it did last time. So that's where my mind was at, at least. But the thing is, I mean, you did end up hitting it twice in a row after that because we kind of stepped back, looked at the video, we were able to analyze what that's was true. going wrong. And it was like a pretty simple fix. What, you were just jumping a little bit too close. I think Pretty so. much was actually the only And even like, thing. and I hit it, I didn't hit it in a way that I was like super yeah, happy yeah, with, yeah, but, but like. You completed it. Like, it's not even like a, it's like a. Yeah, I just back scratch. Back scratch <laughs> it's not even like, <laughs> I completed it. It's like, <laughs> yes. Yeah, for some reason that one was just so in my psyche. Any plans for like what you're gonna do now that maybe under quarantine? Dog, I'm lost. Like, what are you gonna do to like keep pursuing this? As long as we're like allowed in public places, I'm definitely gonna make my way to like the track. I wanna, I wanna do a lot of sprinting, a lot of running, especially since it's gonna be nice. Anything over like 50, I can deal with. Yeah, so. I feel like indoor courts are just sometimes like so vital, and now you might be stuck doing oh, outdoor yeah. courts for. <clears throat> Lord knows how long. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. Could be having this conversation in four months, mm -hmm. six months, whatever. God willing, it's a lot shorter. Since we last talked, uh, I think last time we talked, we were talking about how close you were to hitting that behind the back. What do you think the process was like between that conversation we had and actually hitting the behind the back? A lot of repetitions. I think I was practicing on the slow rim. I think I was doing a lot of low rimming. I got my uh, hand speed down. I noticed how like I watched a lot of my videos. I tried to not drive the ball up so much with the jump. I rely on my hands a lot for a lot of the momentum in my jump, but I kind of tried to stop them at a certain point and then get the rotation because I was going all the way up here and then I had to bring it down and back up. Hmm. But if I bring it here, it just kind of around and up. So I got a little more time. I could do the motion a little bit quicker. That definitely helped. And just getting everything perfect. Yeah. And also feeling fresh. I was feeling really good on that day. And is that a dunk? Like the first time you thought about like, hey, let me do this. Did it feel like after your first day's results, did it feel impossible? Or did you know like from the first day, okay, like I can do this. Uh, I'm trying to think like the time, cause like the first time I tried it was on this hoop outside. And I think it was probably around like 90. And I think it felt kind of possible. And I tried it again in Orlando on like nine, nine. 
and it definitely felt possible. And then I think I started trying on 10, and I was no. probably a lot less like optimistic about yeah. it. Um, but then I just kept on trying, and then I had some close attempts, and I was like, okay. It's touching my face again. I, I, you should keep track. It's yeah. like, uh, that's the crazy thing, right? Like, yeah. something that, like, feels, like, undoable at some point. Is, and, like, the way you hit it, right, in the end was mm-hmm. just seamless. Yeah. So, pretty crazy going from something where it's, like, either you're barely or, or almost getting it on 9.8, but not really, or coming close to, like, now you hit it on 10 feet with, like, room to spare. Is there another dunk right now that's similar to that for you? I'm trying, like, the windmill reverse thing. And um, what, like, challenges does that present versus, like, the behind the back? Obviously, we know about the hand speed and, yeah. like, you're coming off vert and limited like your range of motion but what like challenges does this one present that are different or similar or whatever definitely a little bit like hand speed not in the same way because obviously with the behind the back you transfer the ball but i still have to be able to swing up and around and, but a lot of it i feel like since there's the rotation the 180 it's like a lot of like spatial awareness i need to be able to do the 180 and then locate the hoop mm. um and then finish it so yeah i mean maybe there's a little bit more work maybe maybe i shouldn't be facing directly away from the hoop maybe if i move you know off a little bit to the left or the right of the hoop i'll have a easier time finishing it that's something to think about obviously i need more height i think i attempted it once and i just absolutely got stuffed but i think i was happy with like the range of motion but not a great jump in the end and the youtube channel has definitely progressed since we last talked right like the instagram even yeah. tiktok that's pretty crazy because i think we talked about that like what platforms you're mm-hmm. invested in and i think you might have said youtube yeah yeah youtube was my number one trying to grow on youtube and now i think like there's at least some consistency there in terms of like posting it must take the most effort right like you oh yeah i everything. spend a lot of hours editing i got a computer if anybody cares like i built a pc something's like so i could specifically edit and also i play games if anybody plays uh warzone or fortnite let me know comment i guess we can add each other maybe play some time uh, but yeah and i use it to edit i'm really into the editing video editing i'm trying to just get better at that everything you do you edit you never just throw up an instagram video or throw up a tiktok or anything what would you say is the breakdown for average instagram time like from selecting the clip to the actual finish finished product and tiktok and youtube in terms of total time it takes to put it all together i mean it really depends i mean yeah youtube's definitely would be the longest time or spend the most time on youtube um and then probably tiktok second instagram last if i post on instagram ever again i mean with youtube you're reaching less people but maybe it's like people have sat down and watched a full five minute video or your 10 minute video so there's like more intimacy and like the, some, the person who like watches that full video is like more invested in you and your whatever mm-hmm. at least that's how i see it do you feel like any pressure now to like go around measuring rims before you you jump um or yeah it's interesting yourself? i mean i like to know what the rims are and if i know then i'll tell people i don't like i didn't measure this one today i'm pretty sure i've measured in the past like 9 11 and a half if not 10. But no, I don't really, I don't feel pressured. I mean, if somebody wants to know the height, I'll either say what it is or I'll say, I don't know, if I don't know. Comments that like question like a rim's height, like that doesn't bother you either. You feel like yeah, no, like, I mean like- It's like delegitimizing the dunk or, or do you think it's still like, like the art form is the art form regardless? I mean, yeah, I mean, sort of on whatever height it's art definitely you know if you can make a dunk look good regardless of the height i mean dunk looks good i couldn't care less are there any comments that you get that bother you maybe like the height thing like in terms of people saying you're taller yeah it doesn't bother me and to what it's like yeah word, right? yeah like it's not like it's not like you're yeah, gonna sit yeah. up like thinking about yeah it. no exactly but it's just like people are so insistent with like no proof right mm-hmm. i just think that so. yeah it's annoying for sure because i mean i'm I not trying to like trick anybody i'm not like, so what's like the most unexpected good thing that you've gotten from this dunking journey or from media platform you now have girls throwing themselves at you yes oh damn okay wait, wait let me do that again tell us more wait no <laughs> I mean, I got some shoes, which is really cool. It's the PG4s. I don't know how the hell that happened. Wow. I'm going to do a review on them, but I've dunked in them like once. It's going to be for a while because I'm not planning on dunking or jumping with them outside, really. But yeah, I mean, it's cool. Like, people, like, getting feedback from other people is really cool. But obviously, I don't want to put too much stock in other people's opinions. But at the same time, like, it's appreciated. Like, you were doing jumps by Chief when you were, like, a not a relevant dunker, right? Like, mm-hmm. it's like you are a kid with, like, bounce. Yeah, I think about this all the time. You had, like, above average bounce. Yeah. In a lot of ways, I still feel like that jumper... I don't know, but no, I definitely like matured. I definitely am a little more comfortable. Well, that's like an interesting thing. Then, like, what's your biggest jump like insecurity? Do you think you have one? Like, maybe you don't see yourself like how exactly how far you've advanced. I would just say like just my approach jumps and just my approach alone, and then like my off the lob ability is 
with like a 47 inch vertical like right if you can approach efficiently so many dunks that a you're doing off vert are on the table now with an approach getting higher and other dunks that maybe i wouldn't actually say there's anything you can't do off vert because we haven't seen it yet right any last messages for the people all right guys thank you for watching if you guys made it to this point congrats you're a real jumper appreciate any feedback and i'll see you guys in the next one stay safe everybody